The Pentagon estimates that North Korea has deployed 10 to 12,000 troops in Russia's Kursk region and warns that the troops would become legitimate military targets if they engage in combat support operations against Ukraine. Placing these additional 10 to 11 to 12,000 forces in Kursk is definitely something from a combat capability standpoint that could be significant, said Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder. But a lot of that will depend on how those forces are employed, how they're integrated into the Russian command and control, he said. On Monday, South Korea and the European Union strongly condemned North Korea's reported dispatch of troops to aid Russia's war against Ukraine and expressed concerns that Russia could reward North Korea with transfers of sensitive technology to enhance its nuclear and missile programs. North Korea's troop deployment, confirmed by the US and NATO, threatens to expand the almost three-year-long war and is causing security jitters in South Korea and elsewhere about what Russia could give North Korea in return. Just days ago, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky urged its allies to stop, watching, and take steps before North Korean troops deployed in Russia reached the battlefield, and the country's army chief warned that his troops are facing one of the most powerful offensives by Moscow since the all-out war started more than two years ago. Zelensky raised the prospect of a preemptive Ukrainian strike on camps where the North Korean troops are being trained and said Kiev knows their location. But he said Ukraine can't do it without permission from allies to use Western-made long-range weapons to hit targets deep inside Russia. If North Korean troops start fighting against Ukraine forces, it would mark North Korea's first participation in a large-scale conflict since the end of the 1950-53 Korean War. Okay. All right, well, just a few things at the top and uh, I'll be glad to we believe that there are now at least 10,000 DPRK forces in the Kursk Oblast, uh, recognizing that as we continue to assess DPRK presence on the ground, those numbers could go up slightly in terms of the total number of DPRK troops in Russia. Um, we've seen the press reports uh, about alleged combat ops. We're looking into those, but at this point cannot corroborate those reports. Uh, but as you heard Secretary Austin say last week, should these troops engage in combat support operations against Ukraine, uh, they would become legitimate military targets. With the deployment of additional ballistic missile defense destroyers, fighter squadrons, and tanker aircraft, and placing uh, these additional, you know, 10 to 11 to 12,000 forces uh, in Kursk is definitely something. Uh, from a combat capability standpoint that could be significant, but a lot of that will depend on how those forces are employed, how they're integrated into the Russian command and control, uh, and of course, uh, if the Ukrainians, if, if the past is any indicator of the future, uh, the Ukrainians are uh, battle-hardened veterans uh, who know how to fight, uh, and so uh, every indication that, that they will continue to defend uh, Ukrainian sovereignty and continue to defend Kursk, uh, uh, the territory that they've taken. And so we'll see how that plays out. Several U.S. Air Force B-52 long-range strike bombers to the U.S. Central Command. The Center of National Resistance reports that about 84,000 Kadyrovites are preparing for war against Ukraine. They were involved voluntarily. According to the CNR, Kadyrov plans to send Chechens to the front, claiming that Chechnya has fulfilled all tasks and that this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily. The organization emphasizes that Moscow is not coping with the war situation and the regime lacks cannon fodder. The CNR indicates that the puppet regime will do everything possible to use the opportunity to send Chechens and other representatives of national minorities of the Russian Federation to the front, acting on the ideas of Putin and his entourage. It is noted that according to Kadyrov's statements, Chechnya has fulfilled all the tasks set by the Kremlin to avoid mobilization. That is, this number of terrorists was recruited voluntarily and people should be grateful to him for this, the National Resistance Center points out. Earlier in October, it became known that Kadyrov proposed sending traffic offenders in Chechnya to the war against Ukraine. He instructed Russian State Duma Deputy Adam Delimkanov to take this issue under control. 
Additionally, according to Kadyrov, a new regiment is being formed in Chechnya, consisting of 2,500 personnel, and the deployment of offenders to the front will be appropriate. Earlier, Kadyrov said that Chechnya, which is a federal republic of Russia, had sent more than 26,000 fighters to Ukraine from the start of the war, including 12,000 volunteers, and that at the time, 7,000 of them were actively fighting. There have also been several Chechen armed formations fighting on the side of Ukraine in the war that began with Russia's full-scale aggression in Ukraine. Kadyrov's militant commander of the special forces, Akhmat Apti Alodinov, reported that Russian military committed 187 crimes in the Kursk region. He learned about this from the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the Kursk region, Viktor Kosarev. Among the crimes were murders and rapes. Alodinov did not specify the period during which these crimes occurred, and allegedly the militants of Akhmat did not commit any of them. It is worth noting that the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, accused State Duma deputies Bekan Barakoev and Rizvan Kurbanov, as well as Senator Suleiman Kerimov, of plotting to kill him. Since Kadyrov's ascent to the presidency in 2007, the Chechen government has gradually fortified its friendship with the Kremlin by quashing its internal opposition movements. Still, the legacy of Russian intervention in Chechnya continues to inspire outrage, leading Chechens in the diaspora to join arms with Ukrainian soldiers in a kindred fight against Russian domination.